Hey guys, so we got some really big news that I don't really know how to tell you. It's been a long time coming, but we finally did it. You want to tell them what happened? We tied the knot. Boom. Boom. Check it out. He's really good at tying knots. <laughs> <laughs> Not just fishing knots. So we tied the knot. Um, we ended up doing something that was just really personal for us. Um, and very spontaneous. Romantic. And yeah, because, okay, so let's start from the beginning. We got engaged maybe like three years ago. In the middle of the pandemic. In the middle of COVID. We showed you guys how we did that. If you haven't seen the video already, it's, it's on YouTube. But since then, we had been thinking and thinking and thinking, how do we want to get married? Do we want to have a huge wedding, bunch of people, DJ, party, you know, open bar, the whole shebang. The whole shebang. Do we want to keep it smaller? What do we really want to do? And it took us a really long time to think this through. Yeah, mostly because we couldn't talk about it for more than five minutes without getting like Completely super overwhelmed, stressed out. Right? Yeah. So we ultimately decided, you know what? It's too much stress thinking about it. And every time I remember going to any weddings or hear anyone talking about weddings, they talk about how it was so, so stressful. And that's something that we don't want to do. Yeah. So we decided to, instead of get have a big, huge wedding, and have a really huge fancy party that we're just gonna elope. Yep. Run away to Colorado, not tell too many people and just go get married in the mountains there. And Colorado is the place that we picked because you don't need a witness, you don't need an officiant, you don't need a priest, you don't need anything. We just went up the mountain and um, you know said our vows. And then by the time we went back down, it was, we were married, right? Yeah, I feel like for our engagement, that was almost like kind of public in a way, right? Because we filmed everything and shared yeah. it with you guys, which was wonderful. But for the wedding, we just wanted it to be... A little private yeah, for us. Just yeah, just us. So now we're ready to share with everyone. And and we want to share with you and just say like, thank you. Thank you for supporting us through our entire relationship, through the starting of this channel. We, we would never be in the position we are today without you. And we're just celebrating this super happy moment and we just want you to be a part of it. So thank you. So what happened? We what went to happened? Colorado <laughs> the first day we got there and we went to a really, really cool art museum, right? Mm -hmm. It's called Meow Wolf. It felt like an intergalactic time warp place where yeah. this place is called Convergence Station. That's what, the, that's what Meow Wolf bases this place off of. And Convergence Station is you go into this subway thing and it transports you to all these different intergalactic worlds that are like kind of like mixed with cyberpunk. It was a super cool exhibit. Um, that was the first day we got there. Uh, we did a little bit of shopping, you know, we like walked around, shopped around the mountain towns. That was really nice. But the real highlight was when we went to the courthouse, right? Mm -hmm. And basically went up to the marriage department and within 30 minutes, we signed our papers officially married. In and out. Right. <laughs> so pretty much right after that, so we decided to go to a place called the Garden of the Gods. And this place is beautiful. The, the natural features of this place, the rocks there were amazing. Everything was like red colored. Like we picked a really beautiful mountain, a little secluded mountain on the side of this park here. And uh, we looked at each other deeply in the eyes and just said our vows to each other gave each other the rings and honestly that was the most romantic and intimate possible way I think that could have been done. Yeah. Because if I was in front of a big audience or like, you know, a big crowd of people, I don't know, I feel like really nervous to say all that stuff. <laughs> and even though I was still nervous, just you and me, I feel like that's like a moment that I will never forget. It just felt like the time just stopped there and it was just me talking to you and letting you know my vows and I thought it was a, I thought it was a great time. I had a great time. <laughs> Um, but the next day was really fun. Our yeah. first day as a married couple. What did we do? We went driving through the mountains of Colorado. We drove three hours up the mountain and through the mountains and it was so beautiful. Like the scenery was amazing. Yeah, it was just like one of those, like I just kept saying, wow, wow, wow. Cause the mountains are so big and so old. Well, I thought I was always like an ocean boy. Like I never thought I would like the mountains so much. You've but been pretty vocal being about in that. the mountains was like being surrounded and hugged by like the world 
world and it felt so cool. Mm -hmm. I really felt like I was in like a Wild West movie yeah. at certain points of the drive. Yeah, well that's where we, we went. We went to this old abandoned ghost town that used to be an old mining town back in what's like called this. St. Elmo's. Mm -hmm. And this place has been abandoned for a while. I mean, it's really well restored and really well kept, but we had to drive up in our four wheel drive truck <laughs> on this little tiny dirt road that leads and it was covered in ice too, by the way. Yeah. It led to this little town that had a bunch of like abandoned buildings. It had like a, a general store there, a post office it there, like a, a church. It looked like a movie set. It, did, it, it did looked look like, like a movie, movie set. set, but it, it was, was amazing. real. <laughs> then for dinner that night, we went to a place called The Fort. Had a lot of really interesting food. It had like had like bison, bison elk. elk meat, which we tried all of it. But they had a, one really special thing that Aaron literally could not get enough oh of. Oh my gosh. What? It's not funny. We tried Rocky Mountain oysters for the first time, which I thought was super weird. It tasted okay. I couldn't get over the fact that it's made of bull testicles. Yeah, they don't have oysters in the mountains. We couldn't figure that one out. <laughs> Yeah. So the first couple days we spent in the city of Denver and then we went into the mountains and next to our hotel in the mountains, we discovered that there is a place called Dinosaur Ridge. This place is awesome. Literally walk up this mountain, there's dinosaur footprints on the side of the mountain. There's like velociraptor claws, there's like uh, alligator scratch marks. Yeah, from when it used to not be a mountain but be an ocean. Right? Yeah, I would definitely go back there. That was fun, yeah. But the our main event for this night was going to one of our favorite DJs, um, Dead Mouse. Mm -hmm. No, if you haven't heard of Dead Mouse before, he's a really awesome electronic music producer. He puts on a great show, and uh, we went there a couple of years ago in a place called Red Rocks with our friend April. Um, and we decided to go back to the same venue, Red Rocks Amphitheaters, which is like the coolest freaking venue because you are in the mountain. You're, it's like an amphitheater that's in the mountains and then you're overlooking the city. We danced our butts off that night. It was so fun to dance so fun. together and just like listen to music and watch a cool show. Yeah. Um, so much fun that we actually went back for a second night. Well, the second night we, were, we drove back to the amphitheater to take pictures of our rings and take more just like self-documentation stuff. And we saw that another event was going on that night too. Mm -hmm. Just spontaneously, we were like, YOLO, just whatever, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, I think I danced even harder the second night. The like, second night was, was even funner. I was tired from dancing. So it was a fantastic trip. And I just wanted to share with you guys like our awesome memories that were made. Uh, because we decided to do it so privately, um, we kind of just wanted to give you guys like, you know, the update. The update as to what <laughs> happened. And just give you guys a big thank you for always supporting us, going through like all these different stages of our lives. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure you guys are gonna stick around for more updates in our lives. And you guys have just really made my life so fantastic. We have a guest book, like an online wedding, wedding guest, guest book, book right. that we would love if you would go over and sign drop a little comment, a little memory maybe of, of your experience watching us or whatever. I just want to have a little guest book to just remember all these little, kind of like a yearbook, yeah, right? Yeah, At the end yeah. of the year, you have to sign it. Sign our yearbook, please guys. It would be really, really awesome to, to read through the different comments you guys have. Yep, that's over on our website. And um, if you feel so inclined to continue to support us, the best way would just be to buy yourself or a loved one a little gift, help you get on some fish. That's what we're here for. Next up, we're gonna be having our wedding dinner, yeah. right? And I've caught all of my fish to bring to the wedding dinner so the restaurant can prepare our fish for the family. Yeah, so we went off and we eloped in Colorado, just the two of us, and now we're having like a little family dinner, just like very small. Intimate, intimate dinner. Intimate dinner. Um, it's gonna be a Chinese banquet style, so I'm super excited. Erin has a really me. beautiful Chinese dress that she's gonna be wearing. Um, we, will, we will be posting pictures on that, uh, but it hasn't happened yet, yeah. so keep staying Staying tuned and like, you know, checking up on our channel and you'll be seeing a lot of these in the future. Thank you guys. See ya.